Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. In today's video, we'll be discussing Base Chain, the layer two built on top of Ethereum and has been developed by Coinbase. And recently there's been tons of transactional volume moving to that chain. So I want to show you some of the analytics today and then also show you how to bridge Ethereum from your ETH wallet to your base chain wallet to be able to purchase coins that are developed on base. Now for the demo portion of this video, once I show you how to bridge your Ethereum to base chain, we will be purchasing some Young Peasy. It's a meme coin that is currently on base. I actually made a call on my Twitter for Peasy about, I think it was April, yeah, April 8th, and it was just over 1 million market cap. And as of now, it's just under 7 million. So that's up significantly since the call. It's a project that I like and that I have a bag of that I purchased just under a million market cap. So for today's demo purposes, I will show you how to bridge your Ethereum and then how to purchase PZ. So with that said, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna head back on over to Dune Analytics here and we are currently in the base chain section. You can see there's four charts, daily new users, daily transactions, daily ETH volume, and daily active users. Now you can see that all four of these charts at the beginning of March started to trend upwards. There's been a lot of new active and daily users on base chain, as well as transactions and ETH volume starting to explode upwards as well. So this started basically around the time where Solana started having issues with processing transactions and a lot of meme coins have started to build on base instead of Solana. So Solana is going to do, you know, obviously it's going to do very well over time here during this bull market as it has a ton of volume in users using the chain right now. But a lot of users are also looking for other options as well. And base chain seems to be one of those ones that Coinbase is also going to push and is going to grow over this bull market. So I think it's a great time to discuss base chain now and possibly some of the meme coins that are early on in their stages on this chain that could do well during the bull cycle. So with all that said, before we jump into the tutorial part where I show you how to bridge your Ethereum from ETH to base chain, I just want to mention a couple of things. So obviously the fees being on a layer two are significantly less than Ethereum. So with Ethereum right now, some of the swaps, they're costing anywhere from 20 to $50 to swap, even upwards of 100 if the chain is very busy. When it comes to base chain, they're a few cents, right? So that's one of the major driving factors for layer twos like base chain, optimism, Arbitrum, and so on. So now that we've covered some of the analytics behind base chain and its growth over the past few months, let's dive into the tutorial where I show you how to actually bridge your Ethereum from your MetaMask wallet to your base chain wallet through MetaMask on base chain. And it's actually really simple to do. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have some Ethereum in your MetaMask wallet right now. You can see I have 0.17 ETH. We're on the Ethereum mainnet. We're going to go to this top left hand corner. We're going to go add network. And then we're going to choose to add a base mainnet. We're going to hit add and then hit approve. And now you can see that I have an option here to switch to base mainnet. We don't need to do this just yet, but we can dismiss this and close this window. Next thing you want to do is head over to bridge.base.org slash deposit. And you can see right now I've already connected my wallet, but this is where you're going to be able to bridge your Ethereum from the Ethereum network to base chain. So you can see right now it reflects my balance 0.17 ETH available, and I can choose to bridge as much as I want. So for now, I'll just do 0.05. I'll hit deposit ETH. And then you can see here, it's going to ask me to confirm my deposit in my wallet. And now we're going to be moving our Ethereum from my demo wallet on ETH to my base chain wallet, we'll hit confirm. And now it's going to confirm the transaction, wait for confirmations. And then you can see here, the deposit will take place in your wallet. And in a few minutes, your Ethereum will reach the base chain. You can see my transaction is not confirmed. And now we just need to wait a few minutes and then our base chain ETH equivalent will arrive in our wallet. Now, while you're waiting for your Ethereum to actually be credited into your wallet on base, you can actually just close this window, head over to transactions. And once the bridge has occurred, you can see that mine has just been completed. It will arrive in the transaction section. And you can see my 0.05 ETH is now on base chain. So at this point, you're now ready. You have Ethereum on base chain and you can purchase any projects token that has been built on top of base chain. So I mentioned Young Peasy earlier in this video. Let's head on over to Deck Screener and I have the Young Peasy chart held up here. You can see this is where I started to purchase a little bit myself and where I made my call on Twitter. As I was kind of watching this for a little bit, I know some of the developers, they were discussing Young Peasy early on and the actual memeability of this project is really good. So if I just head back on over to Twitter here, I'm gonna head to their Twitter account and you can see that Young Peasy is basically a persona for Pepe. And, you know, we both know that Pepe is a massive project currently on Ethereum. So what these devs have done is they have taken the persona 
that is young peasy for Pepe and they have brought it over to base chain and you can see here it's part of the Matt Fury comics so this isn't something that they've just created it is actually part of the comics themselves so it is a great opportunity here for this project to kind of you know grab some traction on base chain along with some of the other characters that have been built through these comics so it's one of the ones that i followed pretty early on and we are still pretty early it's still just about a six million market cap project so um, at this point what i'm going to do now is just show you how to purchase a coin on base chain so we're going to use young peasy for this demo example and at this point what we can do is we can just hit on over to the right hand side here and hit trade on uniswap I'm going to open this window you can see my metamask now is going to ask us to transfer over from ethereum mainnet to base mainnet i'm going to hit switch network and now you can see here that i can select ethereum and you see i have 0.054 i've already made some small purchases on this account before but what we can do now is we can choose to make a small purchase i'll just do half and then i will hit swap confirm swap and then you can see here the estimated fees cents compared to 40 or 50 dollars on ethereum's layer one and now we can hit confirm once this is done the transaction will confirm almost mm -hmm. instantaneously there you have it and now we've purchased a token on base chain after bridging our ethereum from eth to the base network and that's pretty much the only thing i want to discuss on this video today was basically showing you the base main net analytics and how base chain has been growing over the past two months i wanted to show you how to bridge your ethereum from the Ethereum network to the layer two base network, and then how to purchase a token through Dex Screener and Uniswap like you would on Ethereum. Now, the one thing I wanted to mention before I end this video is when you're actually withdrawing your Ethereum back off of the base network back to Ethereum, I actually wouldn't use the main bridge through base. There's a ton of different third-party ones. I actually will try to make sure that I link one down in the description of this video. That way you can use that one instead. I don't want to vouch for any one in particular since they are a third party and they have a higher risk when you're using third party platforms like that. But the problem is that when you're actually withdrawing and using the base chain bridge, it is an actual seven day verification process. So if I want to withdraw Ethereum that I've made, let's say in profit on base chain, I would have to wait seven days using the base bridge. So there's tons of different third party ones you can use out there. Just search them and you'll be able to find ones that are good to use and they'll be able to actually bridge your Ethereum back to your Ether uh, layer one wallet, you know, in a, in a short period of time. And that's pretty much all I got for today. So if you're enjoying the content you're seeing guys on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave some comments down in the comment section below. If you have any questions, I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. And obviously check out Young PZ on base. It's one of those meme coins that could actually, you know, really take off. You can see that here the chart is extremely healthy and we've just been slowly chunking our way up from, you know, less than a million market cap all the way up to six and a half topping out there almost at 8 million market cap. And it's only been a month. So it's one of those meme coins that I think is pretty early on in its development cycle with lots to come. So, you know, obviously do your own research. Meme coins are high risk. This is not financial advice. And that is going to be it for this video. So once again, like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks and take care.